In this short video, I'm going to discuss the best supplements for diabetes. And this video is for educational purposes only. I'm not a doctor. I'm a nutritionist. So you will always have to consult with your doctor and make sure you can start consuming some of the supplements that I will discuss in this video. And I'm not saying that supplements are more important than your diet. No, your diet is what matters the most. So if you haven't watched my other videos about the best diet for diabetes, definitely check them out after. By the way, if you're new to my channel, I'm a nutritionist and a health coach who is all about providing you with the best science-based health and weight loss advice. So if you're interested in staying healthy and fit, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you would get notified whenever I release new videos. So let's look at the best supplements for diabetes. And I'm not saying that you have to take all of these supplements from the list. You can pick the ones that you're interested in and try them out. And I will discuss how do they work and why are they useful for diabetics. The first diabetes supplement on the list is berberin. Berberin is a natural plant compound found in several different plants, including berberry, Oregon grape, and golden seal. It has been used in traditional Chinese and Indian medicine for thousands of years. Berberin has been shown to have similar effects to those of metformin. So how does berberin work? Are there any studies to prove that it is effective at lowering blood glucose? Let's look at the study. Efficacy of berberin in patients with type 2 diabetes. Berberin has been shown to regulate glucose and lipid metabolism in vitro, which we can call test tube experiments, and in vivo, meaning it is tested on whole living organisms or cells, usually animals or humans. This study aimed to determine the effectiveness and safety of berberin in the treatment of type 2 diabetic patients. There was study A and study B. In study A, 36 adults with newly diagnosed type 2 diabetes were randomly assigned to treatment with berberin or metformin in a 3 months trial. The blood sugar lowering effect of berberin was similar to that of metformin. Berberin significantly decreased hemoglobin A1c, which is your average level of blood sugar over the past 2 to 3 months. It decreased it from 9.5% to 7.5%. It decreased fasting blood glucose from 10.6 millimolars per liter to 6.9 millimolars per liter. It also decreased postprandial blood glucose. Postprandial means after a meal. It went from 19.8 to 11.1 millimolars per liter. And it also decreased plasma triglycerides from 1.13 to 0.89 millimolars per liter. And there was another study, study B, where 48 adults with poorly controlled type 2 diabetes were supplemented with berberin in a 3 months trial. Berberin acted by lowering fasting blood glucose and postprandial blood glucose from week 1 to the end of the trial. Hemoglobin A1c decreased from 8.1% to 7.3%. And they also looked at other factors, such as insulin resistance. Fasting plasma insulin and HOMA IR were reduced by 28.1% and 44.7%, meaning that berberin makes you less insulin resistant. And were there any complications? Well, during the trial, 34.5% of patients suffered from short-term gastrointestinal adverse effects. There was no associated liver or kidney damage. So what a dose of berberin did they use in the study? They took 500 mg of berberin three times a day at the beginning of each meal. And if people experienced heavy gastrointestinal side effects, the dose of berberin was reduced to 300 mg three times a day. So this gives you a rough idea of how to use it. But of course, you have to consult with your doctor to make sure you can safely incorporate berberin into your diabetes treatment. So if your doctor approves you using berberin, you can order it on Amazon. I will leave the links you can order from in the description of this video. Then alpha lipolic acid. What is alpha lipolic acid? It's a compound that your body produces naturally. It can also be found in various foods such as organ meats, red meat, broccoli, brussels sprouts, tomatoes and spinach. Or you can take alpha lipolic acid supplement 
to get higher, more effective doses of it. Alpha-lipolic acid, also called ALA, is a naturally occurring compound that has shown promising antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects in experimental and human studies. It acts as a powerful antioxidant in the body that has several bioactive functions, such as antioxidation, influencing the glucose levels, regulation and recycling of other antioxidants, such as glutathione and vitamin C and E, and reducing blood lipids. It has also been shown effective in reducing the symptoms of diabetic neuropathy, such as weakness, pain, and numbness, that's caused by nerve damage as a result of chronically elevated blood sugar. I will leave some links to studies in the description of this video. It is recommended to take 600 mg three times a day. But like always, consult with your doctor first. Then we have vitamin B1, and it has to be fat soluble. Many people with diabetes are vitamin B1 deficient, and this can increase the risk of various diabetes complications, such as diabetic neuropathy and blood vessel damage. B1, or thiamine, is a water-soluble vitamin, and it's not the most effective in this form. As cell membranes are made up of fat, it has difficulty getting into the cells. However, there's another type of B1, called benfotamine, which is this fat-soluble form of B1. As it is fat-soluble, it can easily get into the cells through the cell membranes that are made up of fat. And there are some studies to support that this form of B1, the fat-soluble one, can help to prevent diabetic complications, such as diabetic neuropathy. There are also some studies to support that diabetic patients who do have diabetic neuropathy already can benefit from taking this supplement, as it helps to regenerate the damaged tissues faster and relieve the symptoms of neuropathy. There's the study called Benfotamine in the Treatment of Diabetic Polyneuropathy, a three-week randomized controlled pilot study and their results showed that a statistically significant improvement in the neuropathy scores was observed in the group given benfotamine, when compared to the placebo group. People treated with fat-soluble B1, benfotamine, reported decreased pain and improvement in their overall condition. And it is recommended to take this fat-soluble B1 vitamin capsules four times a day. Like always, you have to consult with your doctor, and I will leave the links where you can order this supplement in the description under this video. Then next, we have green tea. Green tea contains powerful antioxidants. The main antioxidant in green tea is called EGCG. You can take it as a supplement or simply drink organic green tea, such as matcha green tea. There was a randomized controlled trial that looked at the effects of green tea consumption on insulin resistance and inflammation markers. So this was a randomized controlled trial with 66 patients with either prediabetes or diabetes. The intervention group were asked to take the green tea extract for two months and the control group drank their regular tea. In the intervention group, after taking the green tea supplement for two months, the body weight, BMI, systolic and diastolic blood pressure, blood glucose levels, hemoglobin A1c levels, insulin levels, and HOMA index were lower than before the study. However, there were no significant differences between the groups. Well, that's probably because both groups consumed some polyphenols. Within the intervention group, changes in insulin levels tended to be associated with changes in polyphenol intake. So, there are some benefits of taking green tea supplement or simply drinking green tea. So, why not? I will leave the links to the studies and the links to order high-quality matcha green tea and green tea supplement in the description section under this video. Then we have cinnamon. Cinnamon has been used in Chinese medicine for hundreds of years. There was a recent meta-analysis of six clinical trials involving cinnamon and it included 435 people. The duration of the studies was ranging between 40 days to 4 months, and the dose of cinnamon was ranging from 1 gram to 6 grams per day. It was found that cinnamon reduced fasting blood glucose and hemoglobin A1c in short-term studies. 
I will leave the links to the study about cinnamon and links to order high quality cinnamon supplement in the description under this video. And there are various other supplements, but I don't want to make this video too long. And one more thing, do you need to take multivitamins? Well, not really. You would be better off getting a large salad and a smoothie every single day. If you want after watching this video, you can check out my nutritious diabetic friendly keto smoothie recipe video. The link to watch it should appear somewhere on the screen right now. And you can check out my other videos about what you should eat as a diabetic. So this was my list of the best supplements for diabetes. And like always, you don't have to take all of them. You can choose the one or two that you want to try and go and discuss it with your doctor. And if you've enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you would get notified whenever I release new videos. And also, you can support my YouTube channel by buying me a coffee or signing up for my Patreon. There's a link down below in the description of this video that you can click on and donate a small amount to support my YouTube channel that is all about creating educational content that can help millions of people. So thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.